Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jell. For today's video, let's continue our discussion on how to solve problems involving exponential functions. So for exponential models and population growth, we have the formula that you are going to follow. So the formula is given by y is equal to y sub 0 times 2 raised to small t over capital T. So itong y sub 0 natin ay tinatag natin initial amount. Okay? And then, paano tayo nag-come up ng 2 rito sa formula natin? So, depende yun sa given. Uh, since ito ay double, so, which which means 2 ang gagamit, gagamitin natin. Kung ito ay triple, so, 3 to. Okay? And then, for exponential functions and half-life, of course, half. So, we are going to uh, use 1 half. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 1 half dito. And, y sub 0 is the initial amount. Okay, and raised to small t over capital T, the units of time. And then for the compound interest, we're going to use the formula, which is A is equal to P times 1 plus R close raised to T. So, dito guys, yung P, ito yung tinatawag nating principal amount. And then, we have R, which is the interest rate, and then time. Okay, so we have here three examples. So, let's answer. Number one, at time T, equal 0, 500 bacteria are in a petri dish, and this amount triples every 15 days. Give an exponential model for the situation and how many bacteria are in the dish after 40 days. So, as we uh, analyze the problem, so we have uh, 500 as your initial uh, bacteria, right? So, meron tayo dito at t equals 0. Yan. So, y is equal to 500, no? So, we have 500 uh, bacteria. Okay, that is given. And then, sabi dyan, as we analyze the problem, uh, this amount triples every 15 days. Ha? Triples every 15 days. So, from 0, at time equal 0, so, it became 15, 15 days. Okay? So, y now is equal to 500 times 3. Okay. Paano tayo nag-come up ng 3 dito? Kasi sabi dyan, triples every 15 days. Okay. So, raise to 1 yan or eto na lang. Understood may raise to 1 ka na dyan. So, 500 times 3, that is equal to 1,500. Okay. And, uh, it triples every 15 days. So, after 15 after 15, so we have 30 days, right? So, y now is equal to 500 times a 3 raised to 2, right? So, kapag sinimplify natin yan, 3 squared, that is equal to 9 times 500, that is about 4,500. Okay. Nasundan ba ako, guys? And, after 30 days, so, every 15 days kasi, 45 naman. And then y now is equal to 500 times 3 raised to the third power, right? Okay. What is 3 cubed? 9, right? 9, ah, sorry. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. Okay. And then times 500, that is about 13,500. Okay. So, dito, may bibigyan na natin yung exponential model. Okay? Ang exponential model natin, okay, uh, since uh, we're going to use this formula, right? So, y is equal to your initial amount here ng bacteria ay 500. So, ang constant ay 500 times so, we come up with 3 kasi, sabi dyan, this amount triples every 15 days. So, triple which means 3, right? So, 3. And then, so guys, kung double yan, of course, 2 to, ha? Huwag kakalimutan. And then, raise to t over 15. Okay? Kasi 15 days. So, this is your exponential model. So, sulat natin. exponential model for the situation, right? Okay. 
And then, sinosolve natin, uh, sabi kasi dito guys, give an exponential model for the situation, eto na siya. And how many bacteria are in the dish after 40 days? So, yan ang tanong natin, second question. Okay, so, with the use of this formula, so y is equal to 500 times 3 raised to, your t is 40 days, right? So, raised to 40 divided by 15. Okay? And then, that is the units of time. So, 500 times 3 raised to uh, 40 over 15. Kunin natin yan sa, sa calculator. 40 over 15. So, that is uh, 2 point, at least 5 decimal ang kunin natin para mas accurate yung sagot. 6, 6, 6, 7. So, nag-round na tayo doon. And then, with the use of our calculator, scientific calculator, so, 500 times 3 raised to 2.6667. Okay? So, we have, so, y now is equal to 9,360.4. 41. Or, pwede namang ito. Yan. 9,360. Okay? Na bacteria after 40 days. Okay? So, nakuha ba guys? Okay, another example tayo. Number 2. The half-life of a substance is 400 years. Give an exponential model for the situation. And how, many, how much will remain after 600 years if the initial amount was 200 grams? Okay, so kung mapapansin natin dito guys, half-life. So therefore, ang gagamitin nating formula ay ito. Y is equal to Y sub 0 times 1 half raised to small t uh, divided by capital T. Okay. So, um, pwede tayong gumamit dito ng, ito, yung formula nga natin, di ba? So, we have 200 grams. So, ida-direct ko na guys. So, we have y is equal to what is your initial amount which is 200 grams. So, 200. Yan yung y sub 0 natin dito guys. And then, times what? Half life which means 1 half. Very good. Okay. Raise to t over 4 100, right? So, ito ay tinatawag nating exponential model. Okay? Sulat ko dyan para hindi kayo malito. Nasundan ba ako, guys? So, the next thing to do, gagawin natin dyan ay sa substitute natin yung 600 dito. Okay? So, 200, with the use of this formula, or yung model, 200 times the quantity of 1 half, close, raised to, your T becomes 600. Okay, so 600 over 400. Ayan. So, simplifying further, so this becomes 200 times 1 half. So, 600 over 400, that is about uh, 1.5, right? So, raised to 1.5. So, dito guys, gagamit tayo ng scientific calculator. Okay? So, idadirect ko na guys. 200 times 1 half uh, close raised to 1.5, no? 1.5. So, it will give us 70.71. Okay? 70.71. So, y now is equal to 70.71 grams. Okay? After 600 years. Okay? Last example. Okay. 
Okay, last example, Robert invested 30,000 pesos after graduation. If the average interest rate is 5.8% compounded annually, give an exponential model for the situation. And another question is, will the money be doubled in 15 years? Okay, so this case, uh, uh, isulat muna natin yung exponential model. So with the use of the formula, di ba? Ang formula natin ay A is equal to P times the quality of 1 plus R raised to T. Okay. So, nag-generate tayo ng model or ng formula. So, A is equal to uh, what's your principal amount? Okay. That is 30,000 pesos. So, 30,000 pesos. And then, what is our rate? That is 5.8%, right? And then added by 1. So, this becomes 1.058 raised to T. So, this will be your exponential model. Okay? So, bakit siya naging 1.058? Kasi, guys, Uh, yung rate natin ay 5.8%. So, if we're going to express in decimal, uh, yun ay magiging 0 0.058. Okay? So, ito na exponential model natin. And then, uh, solve na natin to. So, A is equal to 30,000 pesos. And then, itong formula na ginamit natin, ito na siya guys. And then, 1.058, pinag-add ko na, raised to 15 years. Okay? Ayan kasi guys, yung time natin ay 15 years. And then, uh, with the use of our scientific calculator, so gamit tayo ng scientific calculator, i-direct na natin guys. So, 30,000 times 1.058 raised to 15. So, the answer is about, okay, 69,888.59. Okay, so since we're dealing with money, or pera pinag-usapan, do not forget the peso sign. Okay? And then, sabi dyan, uh, will the money be doubled in 15 years? So, matodoble ba yung pera natin uh, after 15 years? Ang initial amount natin uh, or the principal amount is 30,000 pesos. So, kung dodoble natin yun, magiging 60,000 pesos, right? So, sabi dyan, will the money be doubled in 15 years? Yes. Okay? So, the money has more than uh, doubled in 15 years. Okay? So, itong formula guys, ang ginamit natin dito sa compound interest. Kakaintindihan tayo? Okay, so kung meron kayong natutunan sa video ito, paki-like and share. Thank you for watching.